For the Leader Follower Program, what we're doing is we're executing a one-year operational tech demonstration at both uh, Fort Polk, Louisiana and Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Uh, with the 41st Transportation Company out of Fort Polk, Louisiana, they're the first to receive this technology. Uh, and we will train them, get this integrated into their unit operations so they can experiment, uh, utilize this capability to inform the Army of really what is the military value or utility in leveraging autonomous vehicles in convoy uh, operations. All right, so right now we're testing it out by uh, simulated smaller convoy versions. So we'll have a crew in the lead truck and safety drivers in the follower trucks and just working out a simple convoy A to B. It's important to develop because it's going to enable leadership downrange or anywhere to better manage or manage their crews. Uh, instead of having eight crews on the road, they can use two crews. That's eight trucks, only using four soldiers instead of 16 soldiers. So personnel management. For us to actually officially drive it unmanned, we have to set, go ahead and start our march unit. From there, we have to go to it and we build our march unit from having our first vehicle up to three vehicles. And other than that, the other vehicles would be in uh, follower mode, which means once we lay the path, the vehicles can pretty much follow exactly the path we went to. So we can physically move them. All we have to do is switch to go onto our screen, which we'll be able to switch to our teleop mode after we select that vehicle. From there, we better uh, maneuver that vehicle to that spot we need it to. Uh, right now we have the capability to do one liter, which is a manned vehicle, uh, has a manned crew in it, and we can do up to three follower vehicles with an objective of getting up to eight followers, eight to nine followers. So that's really what we're doing is we're providing options to the commander and how they execute ground, uh, dispersed ground uh, distribution operations. And so if the mission dictates by the mission variables that we need to go manned or if we need to go unmanned, now they will have the option to do it and to be able to execute this in certain areas of the uh, future battlefield, I think is absolutely um, plausible and um, I think it can be done.